Yet another sign of the toll this confirmation battle is taking reports tonight that Judge Kavanaugh has withdrawn from teaching at Harvard Law this winter as graduates gather signatures objecting to his role at the university. Harvard Law professor Alan Dershowitz says the Kavanaugh controversy should make every American think about the long-term impact on the foundations of our country. In a Wall Street Journal op-ed piece, he writes, quote, We now live in an age that risks a new form of sexual McCarthyism. We must not go to that even darker place. The best way of assuring that we don't is to accord every person, regardless of his status, the kind of fundamental fairness we would expect for ourselves if we were accused. New term, sexual McCarthyism. Well, tonight's power panel, Democratic strategist Dave Brown, Fox News contributor Molly Hemingway, and the director of Georgetown Center for the Constitution, Randy Barnett. Professor, good to have you with us and all of you tonight. Nice to be here, Sean. Okay, so I want to start with something that the top Democrat in the Senate, uh, Chuck Schumer, had to say today about this process and what it's about. Democrats are not interested in delay for the sake of delay. This can all be completed quickly, but it must be done right. Molly, who defines how it's done right, or that it's been done right, if we get this back in the next couple of days as we expect from the FBI? Yeah, well, first of all, last week, Democrats uh, during the hearing said that they would like an FBI investigation, and they have gotten that FBI investigation, and as soon as they got it, then we started hearing that they had more uh, more things that they needed to be specific. The FBI actually has a history of doing things like this. They kind of know how to do investigations like this. When you think about the Anthony Weiner laptop that had all those Hillary Clinton emails, they did. They took care of that in just a few days. Uh, when Anita Hill had her allegations against, against Clarence Thomas, that also took just a few days. So, you know, reason there need to be more than a few days. We know who all the witnesses are. We know what they have to say. We know what questions to ask. So this should be, it is a good thing to be done. I think it will allay a lot of people's concerns about this. Uh, and if there is any evidence, any evidence at all whatsoever to support these increasingly ridiculous allegations, I'm sure the FBI will find it and they can share it. Okay, this is what the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell had to say about moving this along. Their goalposts keep shifting, but their goal hadn't moved an inch. The time for endless delay and obstruction has come to a close. We'll be voting this week. Dave, as long as that vote is held after the FBI investigation comes in, what's your objection? Well, first of all, I'm not persuaded that Mitch McConnell is allowing for the FBI investigation to proceed unfettered. If and, it does. And in, well, okay, hypothetically, if it does, then the Senate's going to have to assess on the basis of the FBI record, as well as the totality of the record of Judge Kavanaugh's testimony uh, and his judicial record, and they're going to have to make a decision. I think you'll probably see then that he won't be confirmed. But I'm not persuaded. Huh? I'm not Your persuaded. Your prediction is he's not going to make it. I'm not persuaded that Mitch McConnell sincerely wants the FBI to conduct an investigation. Well, if so, you why guys is he have imposing, been asking this why whole is he time. imposing we need this the FBI deadline? Investigation saying, oh, it only took three days for Anita Hill. They're giving this one a week. So why is this one not good enough for you? Here's what I'm surprised by, Shannon, or not surprised by, I should say. The latest Quinnipiac poll now puts 48% of Americans who are opposed to this confirmation, 55% for women, by the way. Mitch McConnell's looking at this. He's looking at the midterms. This is a baldly political move for him to just fast track this thing. Jeff if Flake came out and said today. In, if the FBI investigation is done, what is your objection to? Well, I answer that question. I, I think then the Senate will have to assess on the basis of his record. And, and I mean, I think I think that there are enough people who have very serious concerns about how extreme this nominee is and how so far outside of the mainstream and a very dangerous judicial philosophy, as well as very legitimate concerns about okay. his independence and his temperament. And yeah. Professor, that gets to your point, because you think this is about more than just Judge Kavanaugh, the man. This is about how he would vote and potentially impact the court for decades. Absolutely. This is about stopping an originalist judicial conservative from making it onto the court. This would be st about stopping the next one that was nominated in his place should he be withdrawn. And worst case scenario, he makes it on the court. This is about delegitimating the Supreme Court a five-vote conservative Supreme Court. This is about delegitimizing our United States Supreme Court, something that we were told in the past we should not be doing, but this is what this is about. So if they should, if Kavanaugh should go on the court, they want him to be damaged goods because they want any rulings that come from the court to be damaged. Well, do you think it's along the same vein of those who said the president was not elected, you know, duly? They say the majority of Americans didn't elect him. The Electoral College has to be repealed. They question the very legitimacy of him, whether he's helped by Russia and that kind of thing. So then it brings into question anything he decides as the president. You say they're trying to do the same thing with the yeah, court. We're going through one institution after another, one of our constitutional institutions after another, and delegitimizing them when they get in the way of the other side. 
I think this is about even more than that, which is that, you know, this is an eminently qualified judge who has had his name and reputation and honor completely dragged through the mud. In this country, we tend to have a belief that people are innocent until proven guilty. We have a respect for due process. We have a belief that people shouldn't have their lives destroyed through allegations that have no substantiation. And you're seeing a lot of other institutions, like the media, just throw that away and say that that is not important, when in fact this is something that should bind all Americans left or right. And there's yeah. one more thing, and that is that you want to deter any future future people from accepting nominations for fear that they're going to undergo what Brett Kavanaugh has undergone. I mean, Dave, do you think people on both sides of the aisle worry about that? You know, if it's a Democrat president and he starts making nominations to the Supreme Court, all these other federal courts and agencies, do you think uh, folks on both sides of the aisle should be worried? Yeah, I think that, that when Merrick Garland was denied even a meeting with a single Republican senator, that a lot of Democrats and a lot of Americans looked at that and said, what the heck is happening in Washington? And we're, and still are, very dismayed by the profound political cynicism of the Republican majority in the Senate. So, yes, and I do think that's a very legitimate concern. I would also say, by the way, that this is, this is a phenomenal conspiracy that's been laid out, but let's keep in mind that Professor Ford came forward and offered up her concerns in a letter before Brett Kavanaugh was nominated to the Supreme Court. So to and suppose, to suppose the letter for six weeks. By Senate Democrats. whether or not it was hidden, to suppose that this is some kind of premeditated conspiracy on her part well, is it, just it, laughable. Yeah, no, I think it's just, again, why you need to have evidence instead of just stories that that's have a lot a of polls question, and whatnot. That's a separate, that's a separate and question. And also, it's so, since you brought up Merrick Garland, I think that is a reasonable thing to be concerned that he was not given any hearings. But thank God that people didn't drag his name Molly, through the mud or accuse him of I being agree. a rapist. Molly, we agree on that. Whatnot. 100 percent. I think I think that that Merrick Garland, I, w I would hate to see anyone have an allegation that is that is unfounded leveled against them, which is why I'm very glad. And I think most reasonable people have been calling for this from day one, that we now have an FBI investigation okay. that can hopefully build a factual record. Right. So once you get that, Dave says uh, it's going to be a no. What do you two think, Molly and then Professor, about uh, there'll be a vote at the end of the week and it should go for Kavanaugh. I, I agree with that. And the FBI investigation, such as it is, will be trashed. Huh. Well, by either side, it's, I have a feeling that whoever it favors or doesn't favor, uh, you know, I think that there will be people that are unhappy with it. And how much does the FBI hate once again being in the middle of a political the middle of battle? It because they try to be as apolitical and they're hardworking <laughs> men and women over there. We know every day. Yes. Thank you all yes. for coming in. Thank you.